to understand the root. It is futile to argue as to which single leaf, which design of branch, or which attractive flower you like. When you understand the root, you understand all its blossomings, mm. right? So whether I throw a fucking jab or I throw a knee or I throw a kick, if the, under, if the root understanding of how we're fighting, I have a better understanding than you, then I'm gonna use whatever branch yeah. or flower yeah. I fucking wanna use. So as everybody's sitting around being taught by these high level coaches who have been forced to teach a certain way because of the nature of study and the nature of the amount of fighters, they're like, we always do this and then we do this and then we always do that. There's no fucking always at all. If you understand the root, you'll understand all things. But we also, there are reasons that somebody would say, you know, this guy checks you, you gotta check the look, never kick a wrestler. Sometimes it's because he wants to sell his product, which may be a YouTube video. Or he wants to sell his, uh, the coach wants to sell his idea, which may be, I'll get more students. We're not getting the truths in fighting from almost any uh, source because there are other motivations involved. You know, but I mean, I guess that's that's okay at the same time because most people don't, you know, it's just this thing that they watch that's really fun. I like seeing guys get kicked in the head. You guys are talking way too <laughs> philosophically <laughs> yeah. about it. It's just punching and kicking. And, and that's what it comes down to. When you uh, go back to the weekend, we saw two UFC cards, uh, one in, in Belfast, Northern Ireland, where Gegard Mousasi dispatched um, Uriah Hall. And Uriah Hall has spent a lifetime learning this specific, uh, again, way yeah. of fighting. It hasn't, the, the, the proof hasn't been there right. for him. So it, does he decide to go down a different path? And by choosing this path, will that guarantee him success in this other path? No, no. Um, so there's, there's a certain amount of... Like, we need to get to the point now, when we're studying these martial artists, of understanding that they are now reaching levels that are beyond what regular people can do because they're starting young. Nobody thinks that they could just jump into a, you know, a, a um, Washington Redskins game. Right. I play football on the weekend. You know, I've been playing football on the weekend for like the last seven years. Just put me in, coach. We, we, because we understand how much better they are. There's this natural mistaken understanding, even for people who don't, especially for people who don't study any martial arts, that, ah, man, I could probably take BJ Penn if it really came down to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there anything you could do from now until you're 45 to become better than BJ Penn? No. There, no. Of course not. Of course not. And I'm not sure that there's a reality that many 25-year-old fighters or 28-year-old fighters that there's anything they could do to become better than Gegard Mousasi. Now, could they win a fight? Yeah, Uriah Hall won a fight against Gegard Mousasi. Put yourself in a situation where you can win. But to truly be greater than Gegard Mousasi, you need to have developed the skills of Gegard Mousasi, the mindset, you need to carry the experience with you, you need to understand yourself, mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff. So the truth, we have the fight anyways, because even though he may be superior in all of those capacities, Uriah Hall, with you know one spectacular move, can win the fight. But can he become a better fighter than Gegard Mousasi? That's not clear. Um, we talked about it today when we were talking about it. If I was his best friend or someone close to him, everything we would be doing from right now was with the goal in mind of being the greatest possible martial artist we could be in 2019 or 2020. Every choice, everything we do in fights, every fight we take, every path that we go down is with the idea that if I am looking towards becoming the greatest fighter I could be in 2019 or 2020, we've got our best chance to be beating some of these guys who may stay the same, or they may worry about the day-to-day -day and not improve the long-term, not get involved in the long play. That would be the approach.